Hi there. Today we're going to take a look at developing an assessment in ATI Galileo using the test builder function. So to get started, I am going to come over to the assessment tab and click on that. And then I'm going to come down to test construction. Now you will see that I have two options, test builder and quiz builder. Quiz builder I will use if I want to select a PO and have ATI generate a five question quiz. I don't get to review the questions or add questions. It's a quick, down, dirty, five question quiz on a PO that I select. Definitely has its uses, but today we want to really take a look at Test Builder. So I'm going to come to Test Builder. My school should already be pre-selected and I am going to select a class. Now I can see all of the classes within a school. You will be able to see the classes that are assigned to you. So you will not see a large list like this. So I'm going to select a teacher and then I'm going to select a library. I selected a sixth grade teacher. This now will mean I'll select the sixth grade library. If you're watching this video and you're at the high school level, you would come down here and select the high school assessment library. Anyone who is in elementary or middle level would select the appropriate grade level. All right, now, I have some options. I can move an existing test, I can copy an existing test, or I can add a new test. For our purposes today, we want to add a new test. So I'm going to click on that link. Now, the sixth grade assessment library is primarily for the quarterly benchmarks. So you need to find a library that relates to your name, such as I have a library right here for this teacher, or if your school has established a library for language arts and math tests. So I'm going to select the Mansfeld Language Arts Library and I am going to give my test a name. I'm going to call it Video Sample. It is a sixth grade level test. Now, I can now add instructions for the students. A math teacher, for example, would most likely add an instruction that says, show your work. Now, I am using a Mac-based browser to do this video. If I'm working with a Windows-based browser, I will not see the font information, but what I will see are editing tools so I can change the font, the size, bold, underline, all of those characteristics of the text that I'm putting into this box. I am going to save my, my test. And ATI is going to take me to the next level. Now, notice that I have options of creating questions, editing questions, searching the item bank, and generating questions. And then I can look at my test status. 
The blue link will generate a PDF file that will show me what my test looks like. Notice that this will default to create question. So if you want to search the item bank, you need to make sure that you come over to this link to move forward. Now for the purposes of this uh, video demonstration, we're going to search the item bank. So I click on that link and it brings me to a new screen. I can search the, the, the entire item bank. I could search selected grade levels of the item bank. I can look for item families. Now an item family, particularly for a reading test, would be the reading selection with the questions associated with it. Generally speaking, you would create item families and save them and then insert them into your own test. Just searching for item families might prove frustrating because there's not a lot of information tied to them. So let's come down to step 2b and we'll search under performance objectives. Now my subject is going to be sixth grade reading. And you will notice that there is a sixth grade English language arts. But for this year, you'll notice this is listed as common core. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit further because I'm not currently teaching common core, but I am teaching Arizona standards sixth grade. So exercise a little care as, as you select the library, especially if you're above the third grade level, because the ATI is going to list those common core libraries first. Okay, now I'm going to select a standard, and I'm just going to select standard one, concept five, read fluently. I will now see a list of available objectives. I would check whatever number of objectives that I want of those that are available. I'm now going to click and that didn't work. We will try another one. And click Find Questions. And ATI will now show me whatever questions are available for the POs that I have selected. Now if I scroll down quickly, I can get an idea that I have 34 questions to choose from. So I will review my questions. And you will notice for a reading test, ATI will show me a link to the actual reading selection. So I can go and preview that reading selection before I select the question. Any of the questions I would like to choose, I'm going to check them. And then at the bottom, I am going to add questions to my test. My preview now shows that I have two questions. And you will notice that the test is called under construction, and we'll get to that in just a second. You will see the reading selection, and then you will see the question. And because it's under construction, you will see the correct answer.
and then the second reading selection and the second question. If I select test status, ATI will show me that the test is under construction and cannot be scheduled. I can change the test status and when I publish the test it is actually final. Once my test has been published I will then print my materials up here on the print test materials tab. This concludes this video of searching the item bank and constructing an assessment. Future videos will also show how to use different features in the test builder. If you have any questions on building assessments for your use in ATI, please give me a call or an email and I'll be glad to help you further. Thanks for watching this video.